What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Four. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification button to be notified on the new uploads. Today, we got my boy in the chair. We're just going to do a quick cleanup. He basically just gets a high taper. Now, he told me he is going to cut it off soon, within the next couple months, so definitely stay tuned for that. We're just clipping some of his dead ends. I'm not going to wet it and trim the whole thing because that would just be unnecessary. He just told me to trim the loose dead ends and then we're going to pin it all up. He bought a hair tie actually. So he put that on for me and now we're basically going to do an undercut high taper. So <clears throat> it's going to be disconnected, obviously, as you could tell from the way he wears his hair. I have my three guard on my Andes Masters and I'm just going straight up to that undercut line to the disconnected point. And this is going to be the base to the entire haircut and we're gonna follow this all around his head and the reason i'm taking it down to a three you see his hair texture it's not straight um but it's not tight either he has like he doesn't really have spanish hair either he just has curly hair so this three is like that perfect length where it lays down nicely and it's not patchy his hair can be patchy because it curls up at such a short length so we're taking it to this three because this is a good length a two would be too short and a four would be too long it would still be curly so this three is that perfect you know in between length so to start the high taper we're just going to come in like any other high taper um setting the guideline diagonal and we're going to clear out you know all that hair underneath that as you can see, he's really hairy. He has hair. It grows all down his neck, under his chin, all that. So we're going to grab our shavers and we're going to get rid of that stubble because you could see it pretty clearly. And now I have my mythics and my lever is fully open, but I'm going up only about a half inch, not a full inch. Then I grab my one guard and I'm doing the same thing, not a full inch. And the reason why is because we're, we're trying to still compress that high taper. We don't want it to look like a burst or mohawk. Right now I close my one right under that one open. And then I grab my two guard and I start out with the lever fully open. And then right here I close it. Then I open it back up as I followed it to the other side of the taper. Then I switch to my 1.5 guard. And I'm using my corner of the guard and the clipper to really utilize the tool to the best of its ability. And then I switch back to my one guard and I'm kind of flicking up in between that 1.5 guard and the one open. And my lever is closed right now. Now I have my 0 0.75 guard. I know you guys hear me talk about that a lot. It's the perfect in between guard. And then right here is this is my actual half guard my wall premium 0.5 guard so when i say the 0.75 guard i really just mean the babyliss half guard so to get that bottom guideline out i'm using my babyliss fx clippers and i started with my lever fully closed and if you notice i was using the corner my clipper blade is set crooked purposely and it's completely zero gapped on one side that's why i'm easily able to shred through the guideline as you guys saw so the part where you really want to detail is those vertical bars since you're compressing that high taper you're bound to have dark spots in that near the vertical bars and you don't want the vertical bars to look choppy or to be faded out too much so to do the back we're going to do the same exact things as you can see his neck is extremely hairy hair goes all the way down like his back it's crazy and as you can see, his skin is red. Um, it's just genetics. I don't want y'all saying, oh yeah. I get all types of comments in, in my YouTube. But uh, yeah, so we're, we went up with our mythics, lever open, the same thing. Grabbed our one, it, it was open and now it's closed right now. And a disconnected undercut like this is very easy because you're literally fading into that three. That's it. You're not fading to long hair. You just fade into the three. 
That's why this is just a simple cleanup. It is, this isn't complicated. Now the part that is gonna be complicated is this hairline, so stay tuned for that. Right now we have our two levers open, and when you see me touch my thumb like that on a clipper, I'm dropping that lever, so I'm closing it. So right there, I just closed it once again. Just drop back down to my one guard, and now I have my 0.75 guard again, preparing it for the actual half guard. And you don't need to use this. I just use it to simplify it for my videos for you guys. I know I have a lot of beginners that watch me. So now I have my 0.5 guard. And now we're gonna get that bottom guideline out completely. So as I move up, I'm opening my le lever little by little notch by notch, I start off closed, then three quarters, then halfway, then 25%, and then fully open. It's really simple, it's like math, it's, it's simple. It's not complicated at all. Now for it to become muscle memory, that does take skill. and It just takes time, that's it. With cutting hair, to get better, it just takes time. You're gonna get better if you cut hair. Same way if you, if you cook every day, if you cook every day, you cook the same meal every day, you're eventually gonna master it. You have to, if you want to. Right now we're just doing a lineup around his ear. I'm using the shavers following up just to get it nice and bald. Um, his skin is sensitive, so we're not gonna be using a razor just because you know it, it gets real red, so I don't wanna irritate it too much. And we're doing the shape up on the other side. Around the ear, it's a little tricky because he, since he woofs so long, the hair gets patchy. I know you guys, like my experienced barbers who are watching this can relate. When someone woofs too long, it can sometimes create bald spots that aren't usually there just because they over woofed and the hair clumped up. So look at his forehead, it, it's clumped up. The hair, it's not combed through. Now it's combed through, but when he came in, it wasn't combed through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our foreguard and this is definitely the most difficult hairline I've one of the most difficult hairlines I've ever encountered. Now, I've been cutting them for a while, so I pretty much mastered it. But I'm starting off with my foreguard, I'm going against the green. Then I switch to my two, going with the green. And he has an inevitable bald spot right there. It's like a cow leg, I don't know what it is. Now I have my three and I'm just going against the green. With a hairline like this, just go against the green. With the green, you're gonna create patches and stuff. Against the grain is the safest option in my opinion, especially with super curly hair like this. So I just recommend it. Now I'm just spraying some water. I don't know why I do this on, on his hair. I don't really do it on many other people. Spray some water and now I sprayed some hairspray just to lock it in a little bit. I don't know why I do the water. It's like OCD kind of because I want to stretch the hair out and not let it be so curly, even though it didn't really move too much. So to get started on the shape up, we just gonna go in, we're gonna start in the middle, right? He is gonna get enhancements. We're gonna focus on making it straight. That's the main focal point. Um, even though his hair is gonna hang over once he leaves the chair, obviously, but you want the hairline to be straight. So when he has his hair pinned up, when he looks in the mirror, the, the hairline's crispy, it's straight. The vertical bars go straight down. They're not slanted in, none of that. So as you can see, I have to go like, against the grain of his hair pattern with the clipper. You see how I'm going up like that? That's the only way the hair is gonna be cut. Usually with most clients, you could just drag it down with the grain and the hair is cut. But on his, since the hair is so, so curly and just so dense in those areas on his forehead, I have to go against. And as you can see, I'm taking my time in that corner kind of like flicking the clipper. You don't want to overdo it and push it back. Obviously this is a pushback because we have to, but you know, there's always a necessary point for the pushback. You never want to go beyond that point. So we're doing what we have to do for his hairline before we add the enhancements. Always want to make sure it's crispy before the enhancements. So as you can see, the area that I was speaking about, the vertical bar, it was looking a little choppy. So we're going in detailing with our one guard and our 1.5 guard. 
And once that's detailed, then we're going to add the enhancements. Don't detail after the enhancements. Detail before in regards to the fade and stuff. And then detail after in regards to the hairline. So the enhancements I'm using, I'm using Tomb 45 No Drip. Shout out to Tomb 45 Squad. Dope product. It's waterproof. It sprays heavy, which I kind of like. I'm not going to lie. Because when I use Kiss, Kiss Express, like my normal one, I set it to where I have to hold it down a lot for it to spray a lot. But this one, it sprays a lot without even doing much and at first i'm not gonna lie i didn't really like that but then i was like you know what this is it's it's time saving a couple sprays and it's good it's to my liking plus it's waterproof i love it now we're using the shavers to go against the grain since we're not going to be using the, the razor that's a perfect alternative and this is how my client came in he was rough he, he was woofing for like <laughs> I didn't cut him in like two or three months. And this is how he's leaving. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram at the fourth Ken. It's your boy four. I'm out. Peace.